Do they gotta do work all the time? Welcome to Make a Path Presents. I'm Ronnie Hayes, and uh, today I may or may not be high on uh, Red Bull, so let's get right into this. Why is my volume so high? Let's turn that down a little bit. All right, so first off, don't mind the construction outside. Uh, they're never gonna stop. They're painting the building. Whoa, whoa, uh, don't, don't, don't pay attention to that. Uh, today we got some new images, some teaser images for The Walking Dead from episodes 9, 10, 11, I think, on Twitter. I'm fulfilling orders for my comic. We're doing a bunch of shipping. I got to run and uh, give my mother a ride to the airport, too, in a little bit. So my day is just hell. I also got to finalize my uh, death predictions for the the big finale for the end of Season 9. So uh, shit is just crazy right now. So we're going to have to do this in one take. Check out the new images and make some little predictions based on them because some of them are pretty damn exciting. Especially one with Daryl. I was thinking, wait, wait, huh, what, huh, who, what, who, how, uh, I overplayed that, okay. Moving on, anyway. So yeah, doomsdaykingdom.com, it's our comic. If you put in an order, uh, just have patience with us. We're doing the best we can. It's just so time-consuming. I will do a follow-up video showcasing uh, how we put the orders together for those interested in the process. And also, if anyone really wants to help out, if you want to order something that is in hand and that can ship right away or something, get your orders in now. We got the blank variants for issue one. If you combine them with like issue three or anything that's currently in stock or pre-orders or whatever, then yeah, you got to wait wait until we go through all the orders. But if anyone wants to dive in and get one of the last copies of the special edition, the signature series, uh, those are probably the more popular and there's only about 15 left and once they're gone is a wrap for those. Anyway, let's get into the image. Um, what else we got? I think we got day and night variants left, the blank, uh, the um, signature series. Yeah, there's a couple as far as image number one. Jump on the website and check it out. Anything not in stock, we're going to be stocking. Okay, I promise I'm shutting up. So Kristen, who's a Walking Dead analyst expert, put up some of these images. Now, you go ahead and follow her on Twitter if you... Hold on, I got to... Gotta... Oh, goddamn Red Bull. Um, Daryl's here. This is obviously in the graveyard. He's got his backpack on. Shit, I didn't notice that backpack before. I made such a big deal out of that. And here it's just not a big deal. So he's got it on. So he's probably watching that herd as they were leaving. So when I thought he was going to find Henry, it's probably just him watching the herd as they're trying to find their path to escape uh, in episode nine. So next up, we got Michonne just being sexy, as sexy as Catwoman, but still, damn. Uh, killing these zombies, Daryl's in the back with his backpack and he's helping get uh, dead Jesus off the ground. We got Magnet in the back, loving the atmosphere. We're only going to be there about a minute though. They already released the opening minutes on AMC's YouTube channel, I believe. You can find it on YouTube. We got Henry in prison. This is most likely him watching them bring uh, Lydia into the jail cell. And I do have a question for you guys. I need your help here. Is this the entrance? And I keep getting it confused because... This is 909. We know they're going right back to the hilltop to throw Lydia in the jail. Is this the jail cell in the hilltop or is this the one in Alexandria? I was under the impression the hilltop is the one underground and the one in Alexandria is the one where you walk right into it. You know, the steps are outside of the building. You know, remember when Michonne was holding off Maggie and they the steps went down outside? I was under the impression that's what it looked like. So many people are telling me this is kicking off the hunt for Negan. I, I, I don't know, man. I think this is the hilltop. But then why does he has a, have his knife out? This seems like it would fit a blend of each. It does look like it's for the hilltop. But then in the same strength... Why does he have his knife out going to the basement of the hilltop? Did something happen? Did he hear something? Henry's down there. Lydia's down there. Did some whispers try to sneak in to get their captive? Is is there a moment where they, they notice there's whispers outside and he thinks, oh shit, they're here for Lydia and it's creepy music. He comes down and he finds everything's okay. I don't know. So give me your thoughts and opinions on that one because I had so many people saying this is the, the, the kickoff to the hunt for Negan. And there might be something weird about that, and we're going to take a look at new images up here. But this is for 909 as well. You have Aaron 
I love the look of Aaron here. It looks like Comic Rick with a little mix of Jamie from Game of Thrones and Chubbs from Happy Gilmore. I freaking love it. And then we got Face Down, Ass Up, uh, Jesus on the Horse, and Magna Yumiko. We got Eugene, a dirty-ass Eugene. He's looking like Daryl here. He's got his Daryl cosplay on. <laughs> Get it? The dirt? God, that tastes good. Uh, we got fine-ass Yumiko and, and Magna here. I wonder if that's a tattoo just for the character or the actress. I kind of feel like something like that would be for the uh, actress and they just left it in the film. Either way, it's it's fine. I like tattoos on women. It looks good. Uh, they're on horse back just chilling. I think this is probably when they're returning. Yeah, because she's so low here. I would imagine once they meet up with Lydia and they take her as a prisoner, she gives up her horse, Yumiko, and jumps on with Magna. Not much to pull from some of these images when they're really up close. Here we have images from 909 still, and this is where they get to the bridge. Uh, this is probably Daryl on one side of the bridge and Michonne on the other side of the bridge because we did see that image of Michonne with another Whisperer and Lydia. Tara here. This is most likely when they're bringing in their fallen leader. We did see an overhead shot of a lot of people standing around during the funeral. So this could definitely be the funeral service for Jesus and... Um, maybe discuss what happened yeah it's most likely the funeral service for jesus because we got these people standing around and they all look sad as hell uh tammy's here i think she's going to uh, play a role later on she's definitely in my death predictions coming up here's tammy speaking to tara now it's it's been a while since ken died it's been six years that's tammy's kid so i don't think she's causing beef over a kid or i don't think it's a continuation over that but there's definitely something going on as far as the residents being worried what now what do we do now what kind of preparations we make uh, this could have nothing to do with the whisperer attack it could be food or work outside the gates how unsafe it is in that would explain why Tara and them are going out and it looked like they were aggressively attacking those walkers because as we've seen there's a lot of workers outside the gate so if they don't feel safe that would maybe explain why they're coming up to Tara and being like listen bro we don't feel safe let me just make sure I didn't miss any oh I did miss some what am I doing uh here's Carol and this looks familiar. What is this symbol here? Is this a symbol of something? And she's like, hmm, what is this? That someone brought to her or or what? Now, this is the one that has me wondering. There's this and there's another one where they pull back a little bit. And it looks like she's in the jail cell where Negan's at. Now, it, this is either flashback and maybe it's showing something before Negan escaped. Or this is after you know what I'm saying? Because this is the entrance to the jail. And here's the thing. Comic spoiler, Negan gets out twice. I won't go into specifics, but did they pull a rope-a-dope showing Negan at the sanctuary when, in fact, he's going to be getting out twice? And again, that doesn't make sense totally because how he got out twice hasn't been set up yet. And I don't know if there's enough time to set that up because before it was set up in a way with uh, the whispers and the reveal and, and shit going on. I don't know if they would keep Negan in for the entire season, looking at the pace that they're rolling with now. So we might see Negan go back in the jail cell quicker than we're thinking because, again, in the comic, uh, he was in there twice. We got Eugene back at Alexandria chit-chatting with uh, Gabriel here. Trying to look around. Don't really see much to pull from that. Um, he's definitely got plans of, of some type. I like the look here. I like the atmosphere and the surroundings and stuff. It's definitely got that blend of old world uh, and new world. I like that. What else we have here? Uh, and again, I still think the kingdom is scavenging for stuff for the fair and prepping because uh, they look, you know, Ezekiel's laughing. It doesn't look like anyone's concerned about the whispers just yet. That stuff hasn't really hit them because Carol left beforehand. I think she was leaving when um, they were under the impression that they just got lost or something happened. I think she left right before the shit really hit the fan. 
No, but this is a nice shot seeing, and I love these. A lot of times Walking Dead would do to save on budget, they would film in an area that had fences or long building walls, and the fences, they would put tarps over them. If you ever go back and rewatch it, uh, that helps black out some of the background so you don't have to do any CGI. You don't have to dirty up the background and shit like that. So a lot of backgrounds and uh, the atmosphere was kind of bland, especially through season 7 and season 8 had a lot of that. And it just robs a lot from the environment. Having this open here, I hope this is a shot in the episode because I love it and I think it looks great. Got some zombies stuck in a in a shop. I'm hoping one of the shops will give us a hint as to what they're uh, after. And again, I think it is after um, uh, supplies for the fair. This says 9-11, so I guess all these are from episode 9-11. So Daryl is still at the hilltop, I would imagine. So I don't think he's going back to Alexandria. I don't think he's going to be involved in the hunt for Negan. You guys can put your comments down below, but I'm saying right now... I don't think so. I think the hunt for Negan, if anything, would have to do with people from Alexandria. Uh, now, we do see her in this trench coat again. This is either before or after they leave. Remember, they're on the road and they're hunting down those walkers. We have Enid here looking sad as hell. So this is probably the Whispers showing up with their captives, Luke and... Um, what did I call him before? His name's Aiden? Or Alden. Did I call him Aiden? Whatever. That's from 9-11. So they're doing the trade-off in 9-11. So that's giving us a little hint about how it's going. More this could be the whispers getting there. Look at them all peeking over. What's that old TV show where the guy talked over the fence? He was just peeking over. Tim the Toolman Taylor. Home improvement. Daryl's got his home improvement face on. And then they're outside in the dark here. And I don't know what they're doing other than looking for people or, you know, keeping guard around the perimeter. Now, here's Magna's old group. So this could have something to do with some of them wanting to jet or leave, some of them not. Because look at them. They all have backpacks on. It's only them. Maybe they don't want to deal with what's going on at the community, so they're about to bounce. This is 909. Uh, this is interesting, so that means they're going to get grabbed up early in 909, and they'll be involved in the trade-off for Lydia around 911. Uh, and it looks like they're looking for Yumiko, so since he wasn't in this image, what is this from? This is from 910. Okay, that doesn't make sense. Uh, oh, I get it now. Perfect. They're out here looking for Luke and Alden, slash Aiden. Alden. It is Alden. And this must be them looking for Yumiko when they went out on a run. See how he finds the arrows? Maybe the Whisperers set it up to lead them down the wrong way. So they're looking for Yumiko and them. And they get caught up. And then Yumiko and Magna and them go out at night looking for them. Or they're still out at night looking for these two. And then they show up in 9-11 and they do the trade. 909 Negan, again, no clue what the hell he's doing with a shovel, what his plans are, but he's out, and I think he's just roaming around at that point. Uh, these are all images we already looked at. Here's more. I think that it goes top down, actually, so I did miss a few. Uh, that might be it as far as the newer images. Yeah, let's double check. I think that's it. But we definitely got some cool images. They're re releasing a lot. But we get the vibe of what's coming up in at least the next three episodes. We got 909 with them returning, the realization of what's going on with this new enemy. We've got the um, um, apparently characters coming outside the fence to either keep it safe, get walkers away, and then other characters going out looking for them. Those characters get snatched up. 910, some of the story continues. We get um, more of a connection and interaction with uh, the two prisoners, Lydia and Henry. They're setting up that story. Uh, the community's dealing with everything that's going on. Maybe some of the kingdom uh, prepping for what they should do with the fair. And 911 is more of the kingdom scavenging and then the big trade off and the introduction to Alpha. I'm sure we're going to be getting more of Alpha in them, but it looks like 911 and 912 will be. Will 
will be the Henry and Beta stuff. Uh, so really interested. I'm hoping they're not showing us anything from, you know, 9, uh, 14, 15, and 16. Keep a lot of that hidden up until we get there, and then you can release some stuff. So I think overall, we pretty much have a nice general idea without looking at spoilers as what's coming up in the world of The Walking Dead for 909, 9, uh, 10, 9, 11, and even a little bit of 912 because that's when Henry says, no, I want to go back out looking for Lydia because they do the trade-off in 11 and then Henry goes out looking for Lydia and then Daryl comes out after that, maybe gets in a fight with Beta in 913. Ah, I'm excited. What do you guys think is going on with Negan though? When is he going to re-enter in, into the story? If they're not hunting for Negan and if that is Michonne talking to Negan back in the jail cell after he gets out, maybe he goes out in the world and he just realizes um you know it ain't shit it's not for him what is he gonna do uh maybe he wants them to trust him so they do adapt the story in the comic where he comes back and leaves the jail cell open and they have a little uh moment together i don't know um because rick had this this just cold hatred to, towards him but i could see michonne uh, being a little different in her interaction she's gonna have that that hardness still, but I can see her being a little different because uh, she went to a real cold place herself, you know what I mean? So uh, maybe there's something there. Um, anyway, leave your thoughts and opinions down in that comment box. I'm done talking. It's your turn.